Good morning and welcome to Warrington and Wetley Rocks. Uh, a lot's been happening recently and I'm afraid I've not done these things as I normally do. So um, this morning just a very quick recording and I've not even got my phone the right way around. But um, it is the season of epiphany and a time of new beginnings. Now epiphany is one of those words that we use from time to time to describe a sudden sort of light bulb experience of something we suddenly have a revelation of something we've not thought of before. We can't believe we haven't understood that. And suddenly the light comes on, the light dawns on our understanding. And we come to see what it is. Uh, it's used scientifically like Archimedes, this governor's pr principle and jumps out of the bath shouting Eureka because he's, he's, he's got it, he understands it. But it's used in that spiritual context too. And the epiphany is all about the wise men arriving at the stable. Of course, it's probably a house by then. But the point of it is that they understand that Jesus is for everyone, not just for the Jews. That's what the epiphany is. The manifestation of Christ to the Gentiles, as it's called in the old prayer book. That really gives us more idea of why it's called an epiphany when the wise men turn up to see Jesus. And epiphanies are something that we can all have, experiences of God that are difficult to explain. This picture we have on our wall, it's by a Christian artist called Heaton Cooper. He did a lot of watercolours up in the Lake District. And Lynn always says you can see God in this picture. So maybe you can too. Coleridge wrote a poem about an epiphany he had up Scaffold Pike, which is this, this is a picture of. Suddenly we realise, I had an epiphany realising that Jesus is the creator as well as the saviour, that he made everything around us. So we, all, we can all have epiphanies, sudden understandings of who God really is. I always find that that's what people are interested in listening to. If I tell somebody who's not a Christian, why don't you read the Bible? They can always say, well, I could read the Quran instead. I guess that's true. Or why don't you come to church? Well, I'd go to the mosque or the local conservative club instead. There are different ways of understanding these things, but a, a real epiphany is a moment of God and the light of God dawning in our hearts. Jesus stands at the door and says, he knocks, he waits for us to respond to him. And sometimes he shows himself to us in unexpected ways. And these experiences of God are life transforming, certainly that way for me. And so in the darkest times, I've got something to look to, to look to the knowledge of God's reality. This has been a, an incredibly difficult time for a lot of us in the church with a number of uh, serious illnesses and bereavements, including my own mum this week. So it's a time of great sadness, but it's times like this when faith comes through that we can see that God is really there for us. There is more to life than just what we have in this world. So may God bless you this epiphany. May you know his light and his peace and his joy in all things. Amen.